Have you ever wondered what really keeps blockchain running? I mean, we talk a lot about cryptocurrencies, smart contracts, and decentralized applications, but what's the actual engine behind all of this? Well, the answer lies in something called nodes. Without nodes, the entire blockchain would come to a screeching halt. Yet, most people don't fully understand what nodes are and why they're so critical. If you're into crypto, blockchain, or just curious about how this tech actually works you've come to the right place in this video we're going to be diving deep into the world of nodes what they are how they work and why they're the backbone of every blockchain out there stick around this is fundamental stuff you must know everyone loves to talk about bitcoin ethereum and all those amazing decentralized applications but very few people really grasp the infrastructure that makes all of this possible. That's a huge issue because without understanding nodes, you're missing a critical piece of the blockchain puzzle. Nodes are what keep blockchains decentralized, secure, and functionable. Without nodes, there is no blockchain yet. They're often overlooked or misunderstood. So today, we're going to clear all of this up for you. By the end of this video, you'll not only know what nodes are, but you'll also understand why they're absolutely essential for the future of blockchain technology. So what exactly are nodes? In simple terms, a node is a device, usually a computer that is connected to a blockchain network. But calling it just a computer doesn't really compute how important it is. Think of a node as a critical part of the blockchain nervous system. It's responsible for validating and relaying transactions, storing a copy of the blockchain's entire history, and ensuring that the network remains decentralized and secure. There are several types of nodes, each with different roles and responsibilities. So let's break them down. We've got full nodes. These are the backbone of blockchain. A full node stores a complete copy of the blockchain's history and is responsible for validating all transactions and blocks. In the Bitcoin network, for example, full nodes are what keep the system honest by reinforcing the rules of the protocol. And then we have light nodes or lightweight nodes. Unlike full nodes, light nodes don't store the full copy of the blockchain. Instead, they download just enough information to verify transactions. This makes them faster and less resource intensive, but also more reliant on full nodes for complete data. And then we have mining nodes. These are a special type of full node that not only validates transactions, but also compete to add new blocks to the blockchain. They do this by solving complex mathematical problems, a process known as proof of work in networks like Bitcoin. And then we have master nodes found in some blockchain networks like Dash, master nodes perform specialized functions beyond simple transaction validation these can include things like handling instant transactions participating in governance decisions and enabling privacy functions so let's move on how do nodes work every time a transaction is made on the blockchain it's broadcast to all the nodes in the network the nodes then verify the transaction by checking it against their copy of the blockchain if the transaction is valid it gets added to a pool of unconfirmed transactions. Mining nodes then pick up these transactions and add them to a new block. And the process of block validation begins. Once the block is validated and added to the blockchain, it's propagated across the network and every node updates its copy of the blockchain to reflect the new state. So why do nodes matter? Nodes are absolutely essential to the health and security of a blockchain. They ensure that everyone in the network is playing by the same rules. They keep a decentralized record of all the transactions and make it nearly impossible for anyone to tamper with the data. The more nodes in a network, the more secure and decentralized it is. That's why Bitcoin, with its thousands of nodes spread across the world, is so resilient to attack. 
So the importance of nodes in blockchain networks. First of all, decentralization. One of the biggest advantages of blockchain technologies is its decentralized nature. Unlike traditional systems that rely on a centralized authority, blockchain networks distribute power amongst many nodes. This means that there's no single point of failure. If one node goes down, the network keeps running smoothly. And then we have security. Nodes play a critical role in securing the blockchain. By validating transactions and maintaining a copy of the blockchain's history, nodes help prevent fraud and ensure that all the transactions are legitimate. In networks like Bitcoin, the more full nodes there are, the more secure the node becomes. And then we have transparency. Because every full node stores a complete copy of the blockchain, the entire transactional history is available to anyone at any time. This level of transparency is one of the key features that makes blockchain so revolutionary. And it's all thanks to nodes. We also have network consensus. Nodes are essential for achieving consensus in the network. They work together to agree on a state of the blockchain, ensuring that all transactions are recorded accurately and consistently. Without nodes, there would be no way to reach an agreement and the entire system would fall apart. We also have scalability and innovation. Different types of nodes like light nodes and master nodes enable the blockchain to scale and add new features. Light nodes allow more users to participate without needing powerful hardware, while master nodes can support advanced functionality that makes the network more versatile. As critical as nodes are, they are not without their challenges and risks. So let's delve in. So first of all, resource requirements. Running a full node isn't for everybody. Let's be really honest and clear about that. It requires a significant storage space, bandwidth, and processing power. As blockchains grow, the demand on full nodes increases, which could limit the number of people willing or able to run them. This could pose a risk to decentralization if only a few powerful ent entities control most of the nodes. And then there's security risks. While nodes enhance the security of a blockchain, they're also the targets for attacks. A hacker could potentially try to compromise a node to disrupt the network or even attempt a 51% attack if they could control enough nodes. Protecting nodes from such threats is a constant challenge. And then we have have centralization of nodes. In some blockchain networks, the majority of the nodes might be centralized in a certain uh, geographical area or controlled by a few large organizations. This can undermine the decentralized nature of the blockchain, making it more vulnerable to government regulations or coordinated attacks. And finally, we have maintenance and upkeep. Running a node is not a set it and forget it operation. In most cases, nodes require regular updates and maintenance to stay in sync with the network and to implement protocol upgrades. This can be a barrier for many would-be node operators. So what does the future hold for nodes? As blockchain technology continues to evolve, the role of nodes is likely to become more important. We're already seeing development on more efficient node software that reduces resource requirements and makes it easier for people to participate in the network. There's also ongoing research into ways to enhance node security and improve decentralization. As new blockchains emerge and existing ones evolve, the role of nodes will continue to be a critical factor in determining the success and security of these networks. In the long term, nodes will play a key role in enabling more complex, scalable, and secure blockchain applications, whether it's through the use of sharding, sidechains, or other innovational technologies, nodes will continue to be the backbone of blockchain infrastructure. And as more people and businesses get involved in the space, the demand for robust decentralized nodes will grow. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and why not check out this video on why DeepIn is something that you should be researching and potentially looking for projects to invest in. Go check it out. Now.